Hey guys, Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. If you don't, then um, happy Sunday. Is this Sunday? I think it's a Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all having a less blue time than me. I cannot get this camera to colour balance. Um, it is really grey and dark outside, so that's probably why. But I said I would do my 12 Pans of Christmas finale today, so we're here, we're doing it, let's get into it. Product number one is my Grow Gorgeous Back Into The Roots mask and I have completely finished it. I did think I would finish this by this update so I'm really really pleased that I have done. I'm really pleased that I'll have this in my empties for the end of the year. It was absolutely fine. I definitely wouldn't rush to repurchase it or anything like that but uh, I'm glad I got the use of it and can get it towards my goal of having 300 empties by the end of the year. I'm gonna count tomorrow, see where I'm at before I go to London. We'll see where we are. I'm still, I'm still thinking I can do it. Fingers crossed. This will be one of them, which I'm pleased about. My hand cream, I've not quite finished it, which I thought I would manage within the project, but there is not a lot left, so I will use it for the rest of this festive season and if that doesn't finish it, I'll put it away and then bring it back out next Christmas. It is a Christmas hand cream and it will definitely be done very quickly next year. So this started at 75 grams, went down to 66, 46, and for this update, it is at 36 grams. Now obviously that includes the packaging, so there's not 36 grams of product left in this. So it is very nearly done. I might still make it into my 2022 empties with this. I've enjoyed using it, I don't regret putting it in, I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I got the use of it. I'll just do my other two products that I weighed whilst we're here and I've got the, the notebook open. My Origins Original Skin Mask. I'm going to be honest, I totally took my foot off the pedal with this one this month. Because this is a clay mask and it's been so, so cold here recently, although my skin's been oily, I've not felt remotely congested or anything like that. So I've not really had cause to use this very much. So I did take it down another little bit since the last update. This was 21 grams, then 12 grams, and it's currently 10 grams. So I did use two grams of product, but I did think I would have it finished within the project, which has not happened. But I think we hadn't had, like we had super, super cold weather there. I'm sure those of you in the UK know about it. It was like minus 15, which is not normal for us. Although we're never like a very warm country, we don't get like, we usually go to like min minus three or four at kind of most. So it's been very, very cold by our standards. My skin's not used to that. So I've not been very oily in the last month to have cause to use this. So yeah, I've not really reached for it, but still brought it down by another two grams. So it's two grams closer to being done. The next product that I have weighed is my Orbe Feather Light Balm. So this was the unstickered one. I had two of these, as with the mask, had two of these in at the start of the project. So this started at 19 grams, went down to 13 grams, and oh, we've done another two. Two's been the magic number for this lot. And um, this is down to 11 grams now. So I've, do you know, the reason I've not really been using this that much is because I was using a Virtue shampoo and conditioner that had a cream in the set with it and I was sort of deluding myself that I could finish all three of them so I kind of put this on the back burner whilst I used the Virtue cream that I was using the shampoo and conditioner of. If I hadn't done that I'm sure I would have finished this within this project. So a bit annoyed that I didn't and that I let myself get sidetracked but I've used more of this than I would have used had I not put it in the project and I'm sure I'll finish it like early next year. Speaking of hair, by the way, I did do mine. It looked quite good earlier, I was quite into it, but um, it's a rainy Christmas day, as you can maybe gather from how great it is and the fact I'm getting that cast on my skin and it is just not letting up. Yeah, it is, it's a rainy, grey, rainy day, so my hair was kind of all curled and big earlier, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not anymore because despite the fact I got four coats for Christmas, none of them went with my dress. <laughs> 
so I just went out without a coat and all I had to do was walk from the car to the restaurant like it really wasn't that far then and back but it was enough to ruin my hair so what are you going to do? To go from the weighing products that I'm slightly underwhelmed by, um, I did finish my Guerlain primer so you can see obviously it started up here, it's moved down and that is it completely done. Really really pleased with that and again another one for my empties which is the main thing. My hair oil I have taken down another little bit not so much again I think because I was using that virtue cream I've just kind of abandoned these ones a little bit in the last month but yeah I'm sure I'll manage to finish that next year without too many problems. I've used about half of it through this project so I'm really happy with that overall. <laughs> to my lipstick and liner. I think we all know these don't come down all that much but this is what my lipstick is looking like and it's looking much more used than it would have done had I not put it in the project. I'm really glad to have got some use out of this in the run up to Christmas. It's one of those ones, obviously this still looks like a pretty full lipstick but I was comparing this against a new lipstick and it's actually quite a significant like bit under like the way that it was when it was brand new now. I do feel like although it's been small every month when I actually look at how much progress I've made since the start of this project it's quite a significant little bit off the lipstick so I'm really glad that I put this in. And then my liner I made again just a kind of standard amount of progress so I'm glad that I took this down, I'm glad that I spent this time with this because I've realised I really don't like this so this can get decluttered, I don't need to take it into 2023 with me and had I not put it in this project pan I don't think I'd have realised that, I'd have just sort of used it every so often and been like oh that was quite draggy but I probably wouldn't have spent enough time with it to realise that it was consistent, that like sharpening it didn't make any difference. I have loads of MAC pencil lip liners and I really like them generally. This seems to very much be the exception to the rule. The shade is red with a double D at the end. So I don't know if it's to do with this formula or if this is just an absolute dud on its own. It's really hard, really draggy. Pigment doesn't really transfer very well with it. But I really like the other ones that I have in this formula so it wouldn't put me off but this one definitely needs to go. My eyeshadow. I don't know if it's very obvious how much I've used between the last one and this one. Um, my eyes have been playing up. My eczema has not been great, so I've not probably used it as much as I had done between update one and update two, which was the last update. Um, but I have still used it and I've, I've cleaned it up a little bit, like there was a lot of kind of uh, kick up with it in the last one. So I have cleaned it up a little bit. We've got, I think we had the pan at the side the last time, but I've definitely widened that a little bit. I kind of said that after this project I was just going to declutter this, but now I kind of feel like there's that little product hanging around that I almost would just quite like to finish it for the sort of satisfaction of finishing it. I don't know, haven't quite decided what to do now. But that is where we are for the finale of this project. I'm really glad like overall in terms of where it was when I put it in, although so much of that as I said in the last update has been like that there's been loads and loads of kick up with it because it's obviously kind of expired and whatever. Yeah, like it's it's not all down to use but it's still quite, still quite satisfying to look at so that is where we're finishing off with it. So the very last product that we've got for this finale is represented by this. So this was my Lush massage bar which is a naked product so there's no packaging. I was just keeping it in this little a Lush bag and it is finished. It's completely empty. I used it up. I used it away to nothing. It was quite awkward to use towards the end because it was so small but I persevered and we finished it and I'm quite satisfied with that and I'm glad that I've got this because now I can put this in my empties so that I know that this counts as something because sometimes if I use up like a bath bomb or like a Lush product that does leave you with nothing um, I'll forget by the time it comes to my empties to actually put it on the list so I have got this to put in my empties bag so that I definitely count that as an empty.
And that is everything. That is the grand finale of my 2022 12 Pans of Christmas project pan. I really like doing this project pan. I feel like it's just a nice little sort of end of year tradition and I can knock out a few things that I wouldn't have knocked out had I not put them in the project pan and just get to spend some time with things and use things without it being the sort of pressure of a full year long project pan. So yeah, I really enjoy this. I'll definitely be doing this one again next year. Thank you very much for watching this one. What I have done is I've actually put all of my 2022 project pans, so my year long one, my 13 by Halloween and my 12 pans of Christmas all into one playlist. So I will link that up in the eye if you like project pan content. Um, and if you're trying to, you know, get inspired for doing your own project pan next year, I will link that up in the eye so that you can go watch that and it will give you probably like a good hour of, of straight up project pan content. But for those of you who are regular to my channel, you will know that little box on top of my advent calendar there is day number 25. And um, so I said in yesterday's video that as a little bonus, I would unbox day 25 of my advent calendar with you at the end of this video. So let me go grab that and we will see what is in this box. It's my little Christmas advent calendar gift. So the first thing that has come out of here, I'm very excited about actually. This is from Tatcha and it's the Dewy Skin Cream. So I know Sally Hughes really, really likes this. So yeah, very excited to use that one, but there is more than one product in this one. Two products, so the first one was the Tatcha and then the second one, hey guys, so like I'm coming back at you a little bit later. Clearly I should have just filmed the whole video over here against the back wall away from the window because actually the lighting seems to be better over here so lesson learned um, but anyway so I went on a bit of a tangent at the end of the video when I filmed it originally because I was expecting the Augustus Bader eye cream to be in this advent calendar now I did say it'd been that long between me originally looking at the advent calendars and then getting that one that I couldn't quite remember and Basically, I think I've gotten myself mixed up. I think maybe the eye cream, sorry, I'm leaning against the radiator and probably making a racket. I think the eye cream must have been in a different advent calendar because the second product was indeed Augustus Bader, but it was the facial oil. It's quite a big size, it's a 10 mil. Now, I like the facial oil. I've had it before, like samples of it before. I'm not a massive facial oil person, so I definitely wouldn't spend my own money on it. But as a last product, I am perfectly happy with it, but I just was expecting it to be the eye cream and I was like, what's going on when I filmed it originally? And then I went away and actually checked a blog post from when it had launched and the eye cream was never meant to be in it. So I had just got that into my head. So it must have been in one of the other ones that I'd been looking at, but I still had decided overall the Space NK one was better. So yeah, I think I literally said in yesterday's video like, oh, it must be that eye cream, I'm really excited. It's it's not the eye cream, it's facial oil. I am still very interested to try the eye cream at some point because I really like the moisturiser. So I feel like if I like the, the moisturising cream, like the eye cream should like have high hopes for that. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's a, a sort of synergy if you do one cream well you might do the other cream well um and i like i like the facial oil but i just i'm not a massive facial oil person so i would never spend my own money in the facial oil whereas the eye cream if i can get a decent sample and get a try of it at some point i think i could be talked into spending my own money on the eye cream if it's as good as the moisturizer is but anyway i thought i better actually just Cut that last clip when I just talk nonsense for ages and replace it with this one to say it was a facial oil and yeah, that's what it was meant to be and I'm perfectly happy. I would have preferred the eye cream, but overall the contents of the advent calendar I think have been really, really good. I would definitely keep an eye on the Space NK one for next year. I do think these are such an indulgence, these advent calendars, and I feel like they weren't as, they didn't sell out anything like as quickly as usual this year and like, if you guys watched my video where I was talking about getting my advent calendar in the first place, I got it with a discount on it, which I feel like a few years ago you wouldn't have gotten a discount on any of them. So it'll be interesting to see, I think, what next year brings. I don't think I'd have spent my own money on it, but in terms of getting it as a gift, I think it's been a nice gift to have had. And I know that I'll get the benefit of a lot of the products next year because I'm definitely doing my no-buy next year and I'll be tracking. It'll be a replacements only no-buy, but I will be tracking my replacements and I'm definitely going to be doing some kind of a budget so I know in terms of a lot of those products that I've got from this it will save me budget next year because I won't need to buy the replacements quite as quickly so I do feel it's been overall I'm glad I've had it. If I had the cash to spend again I might have made a different choice. I'll still be honest about that and say it would have been quite a good chunk towards um, you know like a handbag or something like the Kate Spade ones that I like are now 
on like further sale. So in terms of the amount of money this advent calendar cost, like an extra 20 quid would have got me the Kate Spade bag at the sale price. But obviously I wouldn't have got the Kate Spade bag at the sale price at the time I was buying the advent calendar. So it's not, it's not like for like, but in terms of just thinking about what that money could have been further down the line. If I had the chance now to hand everything over and say take it back and I'll take the cash, I'd probably do that and go buy a handbag. But overall, I, still, I don't 100% regret it. I don't see me asking for one next year. I am going to keep this packaging. I actually had to look at my earlier video to see how they all, how they all sloshed back in because I'd taken them all out and then couldn't remember how to fit them back in so I have put them all back in and I'm going to put this in the loft and then I think next year I'll like maybe try and make my own advent calendar with them and I'll maybe get Lauren or Lindsay or somebody to come over and like make one for me so that I don't know what's in it. Overall I don't really regret it. I think there are other things I would have probably rather spent the money on if I had the cash straight up to spend again right now and I don't see me asking for another one next year but it's been good and as I say as much as I'm saying that I know maybe this coming year, 2023, I will see the benefit of having had that advent calendar in terms of my budget won't be called upon as quickly to provide replacements because I'll have replacements thanks to having the advent calendar. Swings and roundabouts a little bit. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending this time with me today. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you've had a lovely day. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you've had a lovely day with your special people regardless. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!